Welcome back guys. My name is Nsika Kakwa, the lead tutor of Nova Digital Academy. So, in our last episode, we talked about um, after you've gathered knowledge, that the next thing you do is to create your own platform. Now, when we say create your own platform, I know some of you could be afraid of um, um, being called or some of you don't like fronting things but you know what um, the third world like many of us are is a very ruthless world it's not an area where you have you have things set down for you no government has you at, at heart anyway that's not the topic for the day but um, i'm giving you reasons why you have to set the pace for yourself you don't have to rely on anybody you don't have to look forward to help or assistance from anybody so you start on your own and i can tell you that it could be rigorous it could be tough but you have to maintain that then i say that after you've created your own platform you should put out um, quality content for free, put them out. Now, uh, there is this default question people use also in the year, things like this. They say, okay, if we're putting out the content for free, then in our paid program, um, what, what are people going to get? You see, the trick behind this is this of the trick behind this idea is this you teach people why they should listen to you or why they should get involved in your um in your niche for free you teach the why for free then in your paid programs you teach the how i come again on the free platform, you teach the why, and on the paid platform, you teach the how. Although in some occasions you could teach the how for free, I mean, seldomly, and um, that has to be, uh, when I say seldom, of course, you know what I mean by being seldom, then you sh it, should, uh, it ought to be limited, of course. So as you continue, People, when people watch or listen to you or read your article, they are going to say, okay, if this guy can put out all of this for free, how much more going for his paid course, what is it going to look like? Then they will get it. So, after having your platform, putting out content for a while for free, number three, what you want to do is package your paid program. Now, there is a difference between a roadside restaurant and an eatery. What's the difference? It's just packaging. The both of them are selling food. In fact, they are basically food. Okay, you can buy a plate of rice in a roadside restaurant for, let's say, 500 naira. Then you go to an eatery, you're buying the same plate of rice at 2500 naira why are you doing that do you think it's um it's a mistake are you being cajoled are you being fooled no it is because of how they package the place or both both the place and the food that makes you convinced enough to pay the 2500 naira for the food now a person who doesn't have a well packaged product cannot charge high a well packaged product is going to increase the you're going to increase the market value so if you pro, if you project yourself to be a public figure then or if you claim to be a public figure then present yourself a public figure if you claim that you are um let's say anyway i'm out of illustration now 
but you know don't don't tell people that you can write or okay let's say you claim to be an editor meanwhile your articles are full of grammatical and uh, typographical error what what are you attracting so make sure you present yourself everything that concerns you let them be step up your game that's just a word step up your game now your social media um, profile picture please those of you that used to use all manner of pictures like cartoon and i mean i don't know <laughs> if you want you're building a brand listen to me this aspect many of you don't take it serious you are building a brand ensure that everything that concerns you is quality ensure that everything that concerns you represents well don't take anything for granted don't overlook anything make sure you are deliberate about everything you're doing make sure you you raise the bar because at this point competition will start there are people who are saying there are people who want to um, reach your level at the time oh they say okay this guy when did he start i can't get there and they start immediately if there are if these people are those who are already enlightened in this aspect i bet you they will overtake you so to maintain your position ensure you keep stepping up your game so make sure your um your online presence is strong that's talking about your profile picture your post um then you now you could spread among platforms then um let's say at this time you start recording your course good use a a platform that is could be global could be accessible globally then you, at this point you may want to have a website you may want to have an application you see these things are are things that are owned by professionals so when you have a website people regard you as hey, this guy is not it's not a small boy in this game when you have an app or people say oh this guy this is not someone we can we can compete with you know so but all of these things are easy to get unless you don't have access to um the features that can help you get these things then just make sure that everything that concerns your brand are well represented okay i'm going to stop this episode here and we'll continue in the next episode see you